Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be making a DIY slime station and feel free to make this yourself in your own home and it doesn't cost very much, all you need is some boxes and all the rest of the ingredients. So I already had a template made but the first thing you're going to want to do is cut out some a piece of paper to go onto the bottom of your drawer and you're just going to draw around it once you've made one so that it's easy to make another one and then once you've drawn around all the sides, you're just going to want to cut it out. So let's go cut it out. So here I'm just cutting it out basically, and I've cut it out now. So now I'm drawing around the sides. So I already have the side template done. So I'm going to make a, another one just by drawing around it. And then you're going to put that on the side of your box and cut that out as well. So now I've drawn around it, I am basically just going to cut it out again. So yeah, let's cut it out. So now I have cut out the template. So I have all of my templates and the one at the bottom must have a tab on it. So here I'm just going to put in the piece of paper with the tab on the bottom and just slot that in. And make sure that the corners are cut off as well because then it fits in more better. Now I am going to place in the sides of the box. So I'm going to put the side pieces of paper on the side of the box. And I'm going to do the same in both of the boxes as well. Check the sides. So now I'm going to grab the next one. So now I'm going to put the second side piece of paper in. And you've got to make sure they kind of end. It doesn't really matter if the sides in, in the corners curl up because it doesn't really make a difference at all. It's just for protection around the boxes because if you put something in there like litter, it's going to get messy. You don't want to ruin your drawers. So now you can choose to do one for the end, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make one for the back and not for the front. So you're going to want to stand up your box on the front so that you can see the back of it and you're just going to place a piece of paper on there and you're going to bend the sides around the box so that it makes a folded line you can do that to all sides and then so once you've done that to all sides then you can just cut it out so now i have cut out the end piece of paper and that's going to obviously go in the end. So at the back of the box, I'm not going to put anything in the front of the box because I don't think it really needs to. So I'm just going to put that in there now. And I'm going to make sure that that fits in. Again, it doesn't matter if there's a gap, a mini gap at the bottom. You can always add more paper in or anything like that. So now you've got all the sides done and we're going to do the same for the other box. So this is me doing the second box. I took some of the templates out from the other one. And basically this is the bit that I didn't show you in the first box. You're going to need to make a tab out of a thin piece of paper. And you're just going to cut it. You don't want to make it too small. And you're just going to grab some tape, a little tiny piece of tape. And tape it to the back of the piece of paper that goes on the bottom of the box. And that's so you can take that out easily because you don't need ones on the sides or at the back because obviously they, they're like sticking up so you don't need to get, have a tab to get that out. So I'm just putting that in again now and this is just the same procedure as before.
So now I have both of my boxes done. I'm just gonna place them, but not, I'm just gonna place them just slightly outside the box area so that I can actually put all the stuff in. So this is the part where I'm gonna start filling up the boxes. So for the second section of the slime station. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna put in there is going to be some comfort washing up conditioner. I could just put it in this container because it's easier than having a giant container in the box because it'll take up most of the space. Um, this is for a different type of slime, so don't think that's useless when it really is kind of, you do need it for one of the slimes. So I'm just going to position all this stuff in here and work it out. So the next thing I'm going to put in is PVA glue, and I'm using white PVA glue, and it has to be PVA. I got mine from Wilco, and I'm also going to put in some shaving foam, and this stuff can be any type of shaving foam. So this is so the stuff this that the I was talking about, the comfort that. conditioner, the blue stuff that's washing up box. conditioner. So this the is it, um, yeah. as you can see it's hot. Empty. So this is gadget to show you it. I got my You can get this basically from any shop, pretty much, I think. But I don't know if you can get it in any other country. But yeah, I think that was on about. I also forgot to say that there is you can use anything. Use any type of these. You can use any type of shaving foam. It has to be PVA glue. You can get it from everywhere. So yeah. Also, I'm going to have some owl mat in the so big the gap there, I just don't have that yet, um, that's so, you make it in the so yeah, there is going to be out in that huge gap. That. Obviously, in other places you use borax or whatever you need to use for that, so I'm going to move that out of the way, so when I get the arm edge out, it's going to go in there. So now I'm going to fill up the second box, this is going to be for the third section of the slime station, so in this one I'm basically going to put in some containers. So I have, and they have to have a lid on them, otherwise the slime will dry out. It needs to have a tight lid as well, otherwise it will also dry out quicker. And you just basically want to have containers in. So they don't have to be plastic containers, obviously, but most containers are plastic. So just make sure they've got a tight lid. And I'm also going to put in the cornflour. Now cornflour in America is called cornstarch, and you can't use wheated corn flour because for some reason it doesn't work in one of the slimes so you're just gonna put that in that box as well so yeah like i said it's called cornstarch in america and probably some other places but in most places it is called corn flour so now i'm going to start filling out the drawers so i'm just gonna try to get these drawers open <laughs> they were really really stiff to get open Okay, so now I finally have the drawers open. So in the top drawer, I am going to put in some spoons. Now I have metal spoons, but I'm actually gonna use plastic spoons, but I don't have any yet, so I'm gonna get some plastic spoons. So I'm just gonna put in the metal spoons for now. It doesn't really matter what spoons you use, just for the sake of it. I don't wanna waste all my metal spoons, which we use for dinner and things. So the biggest spoon doesn't actually fit. So I just have, I just put it in sideways. So I have, Normal size spoons, tablespoon, and also a teaspoon in the top box. So now in the bottom box, which I can clarify I already have open, <laughs> I am just going to put in some food colouring. So I have some blue food colouring, because our red food colouring is pretty bad and it's really old. So I'm just going to take out the food colouring and open that up and take that out and put that in the box. So I have that open and this is why we need the paper. Just in case it leaks out, it will soak right through. So I'm also gonna put that inside a container, but I don't show that in the video. Um, so that's just gonna be in there because there's gonna be some more containers in there as well. So we're gonna put in a container and the food coloring is actually gonna go inside the container. It is just in case it does, the paper is there just in case any gets on the container itself. So I place it on top here. So in section three, it's just going to be very simple, very, very simple. There's only going to be one thing in this section, only one thing, and that is just going to be a bowl. So I have a glass bowl. You can use any bowl, plastic, a normal bowl that you use for cereal and things. 
So this is going to be the only one thing that's going to be in there. Obviously, you know how a bowl works. I'm just going to put all the ingredients inside there. So, yeah, that's the only one thing that's in there. So in the fifth section, there's going to be only two things in this section. And I'm putting it here because it ties in with the stuff, like where all the glue is and everything. So this is just going to be a jug. Now, I'm going to... The reason why I'm having a jug is because there's going to be water in the jug and that's for one type of glue which you need the conditioner for and also the flour, corn flour, sorry, or cornstarch. So that's what the jug is for. Also in this section it's going to be some clear PVA glue. So in the, the other one's white and that was only £3 from the work so that was pretty cheap. So all this stuff is really cheap. Um, to get so it's pretty simple so I put that there because obviously the two different glues I didn't want to put it together because it will just makes it more fun for spreading everything out so I've got clear glue and P and white PVA glue and clear PVA glue it has to be PVA still but I think it works with white, um, clear glue so for the sixth and final section of the slime station it is, we are going to need another box so it's the same as the other ones exactly the same it's a cardboard box it might be slightly smaller i'm not too sure i think it yeah it is slightly smaller and you're also going to need a marker pen i have a whiteboard marker because i had that handy you can use normal pen and sharpie and I also need some paper and yes i know i put con flour and also slimy instead of slimy but just just yeah just forget about that and this is for the l and s line which is basically LNS slime, which is liquid and solid slime. And this is basically ingredients you're gonna need and how to make it. So you need corn flour, bowl, water, and a couple of other things. And also the washing conditioner and some glue. And then it's like put corn flour into a bowl. So it's just kind of like the instructions. You can also use food coloring obviously, but yeah. So you're gonna fold it over and this is how it's gonna look. So I just wrote with the marker pen on top. So because I use a whiteboard pen, whiteboard marker, it's gone through. So I've used two sheets of paper to cover that up because you're going to need to fold it over so it fits into the box. So I just wrote LNS sign for liquid and solid slime again on the top of the paper. And you just fold it and you're going to make sure it faces the right way as well. So yeah, you gotta make sure that it folds over. So as you can see, I've used two pieces of paper there just because it went through. So yeah. So you're gonna want to put it inside the box, which is what the box is for. So I'm gonna put that in right now. But wait, it doesn't fit. Oh no. So as you can see, the piece of paper is too big. So I'm gonna have to fold it over again to make sure that it actually fits in the box so here i have folded it over again so the other time it was half a piece of paper yeah so the other time it was half piece half a4 and this time it's a quarter of a4 so it fits in perfectly and i wrote alpha's s slime and again using two pieces of paper also if you do use normal pen you don't have to use two pieces of paper and if you write on both sides of the paper also don't, you will need to use another piece of paper so you don't have to write across it. And no, and so like those writing will be showing. I use white paper, you don't have to use white paper. You can use colored paper, it's just because I used pink paper before, I thought I'll just use white paper this time because I'm using green pen. But if you're just using black or blue, feel free to use any you want. So yeah, this is going to be for, these are the ingredients, so you, this is like the liquid and solid slime is kind of like a scientific slime so that's why you need the jug the conditioner you don't you can't use shaving foam for that and the corn flour as well we well, can use the corn flour as well you use <laughs> so you do use corn flour you can't use shaving foam for that it doesn't make it fluffy because it's a really it's a different type of slime so you're gonna put i'm gonna have the normal slime so i'm just gonna call slime in there and that's going to go over there in the corner, so I'm just going to move the scissors out of the way, and that's just going to go there next to the container and the corn flour. I'm just going to move them up a tiny little bit. So these are all the sections of the slime, and I'm going to show you that now. So here is the completed slime station. Woo! 
So these are all the sections and I'm going to show you, go through them one by one for you, just in case you did miss anything and you don't want to go back to like uh, the part in the video where that station was. So yeah, let's get to it. So now I'm going to show you through all the sections. I'm probably going to get them in the wrong order because I can't really remember, but it doesn't really matter. Most of them will be in the right order. Hopefully I will get it all correctly in the right order. But yeah, so we're going to start off with the first section. So the first section is basically just the drawers. So let's have a look inside the drawers. So in the top one, there is spoons. I use metal spoons, but I'm going to have plastic spoons in there, like I said before. And in the bottom is going to be some more containers and food coloring. So on section two, so section two, basically has everything you're gonna really need to make it. So PVA glue, white PVA glue, basically a liter of glue in there, 500 liters, around a liter. It has to be PVA, it doesn't have to be white, I do believe. I got mine from Wilco's because I live in the UK, so I got mine from Wilco. And I have some shaving foam. It can be any shaving foam whatsoever. I just have Tesco's own brand because it was it was like 50p, so everything is really cheap. And then I have the Comfort Washing conditioner which is for the l and s slime so i just put that in a random container the bubble bath container because <laughs> it was empty so it's just easier for me to pour it instead of having a huge container in there so that's basically everything so on section three so section three has a container in it it will have some more and it also has corn flour also known as cornstarch in america I think it's mainly known as corn flour though, and that is basically it for that entire section. It has to be, it can't be, sorry, it can't be wheated corn flour, otherwise it does not work for the L and S slime. And also in this gap here, there will be some Almat non bio gel. It's just I don't have that just yet, but I will be getting that pretty, pretty soon. So once that is there, that will be in that huge gap, which is why there's a gap. So, so section four is the simplest section of it, so only one thing which is just a bowl to mix everything with. Section five has a jug to put the water in for the L and S slime, which uses corn flour and things like that. And also instead of normal glue, I have the clear glue and clear glue works, I think it works exactly the same. It just means that you're probably gonna have to use food coloring because unless you want clear slime, which would probably look pretty cool. So, I've got a litre of that there, slightly less. I've got around two litres of glue I have in this slime station, so I guess you can have less, because the other two are five milliliter bottles. I have used some of it, so it's probably like one and a half litres, to be honest. But still, this is the still PVA. It has to still be PVA, regardless of whether it's white glue or clear glue. It has to be PVA. And I got that PVA glue from the works. So over to section six, the last section. So this is very simple. It is just the ingredients area. So on top at the moment, I have the LNS slime. And if I open this up, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Here are the instructions and the ingredients. So if you have no idea what you're doing, write down your instructions so that you will always remember and never forget because I'm very forgetful of that kind of stuff so and then it just folds over into a little quarter quarter of an A4 piece of paper and that's that and that just fits in there and there's going to be the normal slime one on top of that so this is the slime station completely unfinished here it is in all its glory and remember you have to have Almat gel do not forget Almat non bio gel if you live in the UK if, if you don't live in the UK, you might be borax or whatever you use for that kind of thing that's like similar to it. Just look it up and you'll find out. I've got all my information from YouTube and across the internet on like Google and everything else. Hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.